everybody, welcome back. We're going to start this one outside for the YouTubers. Have a look around. We got a little bit of snow. Jolene's, this was Jolene's idea to show our YouTubers, our friends, what it's looking like here in Nova Scotia right at the present moment. We got a little bit of snow, and uh, that's what it's looking like. You come on inside. We got the chassis flipped over, and uh, look out! <laughs> we got the chassis flipped over, and uh, we're welding gussets on the on the on the frame itself and uh, we're trying to strengthen everything up because we know that we had it just plunked together you know we just had it plunked together uh, what can I say we just had it plunked together tacked together so now that we've got it turned over this is the very first time that we've had it turned over to look at what's going on I did some welding last night I did some welding last night and put some gussets in you can come see I welded the cross member together here I've welded it all on the frame there got that right Welded the gusset on the lower control arm mount Welded the gusset on this lower control arm mount um, the rack and pinion I got that fitting right and the steering is going to go through the exhaust pipe got the got the the motor mount on uh, I put a gusset down on here so to make that straight stronger for the for the rack and pinion uh, basically, that's what I'm doing right at the present moment, just putting gussets on everything to make everything stronger. What I'm doing is, is I'm giving everything a little bit of help because, you know, I, I do not want anything to break. Um, we're, we've, we're building the car and we're trying to make it as strong as possible. And, and you know what? That's, <laughs> that's what you do. You, you, you build it, you go over it, um, you make it as strong as possible, and then you make the decision whether it's good enough or not. And that that's becomes when you become a man. When you become a man, you're able to make a decision based on what you know and and go for it. That's that's basics of a man. Like when you when you become a man, you're able to make a decision um, on your own and, and go for it. Um, until like if I need it you know somebody's uh, opinion or help on something yes that's help is one thing but to have uh, to be able to go for it and do it and not need anybody to um, reassure me that's the beginning of a man that's the beginning of a man so what's going on is I'm just going through this I'm going through this chassis and and tightening everything up First thing I want to do is I want to get the welder turned back on. I had her turned on last night, had her rock and rolling, had her, had her working good. So I'm just going to start where I left off, and that's basically what you do in the morning when you're at work somewhere. If, you, if you've been working somewhere and you come back in the morning, just take off where you left off. And uh, basically I'm going to take off where I left off, and that's welding gussets in it, in the chassis. And uh, that's what I'm going to do. Put my gloves on, get my glasses. You want to see my glasses, baby? We're just getting in here this morning, kind of not getting, not ready, but we will be shortly, as soon as I find them glasses. Hope I didn't take them down to the house. Ta talking about being a man, I don't even know where my glasses are. <laughs> you. What's that, sweetheart? You heard them fall? She heard them fall. I can't, I'm not going to weld anything with my glasses on. I won't be able to see anything. Are they in this room in here? Anybody on the... Where did I put them glasses at? I must have took them off and put them somewhere. Come on. They're under the stool. There they are. <laughs> They're hiding. They didn't want to go back to work, see? They didn't want to go back to work. So basically what's going on is, is I'm finding, I'm finding all the stuff that I think needs help. And I'm going to give it a little bit of help by throwing a gusset in. And what I have done is I bought this little pack of goodies. And there's all different kinds of gussets in there and all kinds of different brackets. And what I've been doing, I've been just grabbing into it and using whatever I think and whatever I want to make it go. So I got two more little brackets here. They got the holes in them, which are kind of cute. I like it. I like it. I've got a cross member going across the front here, um, which holds it together. 
Now you can see I've got a gusset in here. This is for the rack and pinion. This is a gusset here. This is for the lower control arm, lower control arm gusset. I've got a gusset on this side. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to throw a gusset on this cross member on the chassis. So that should have a little bit of help, and I'm going to give it some. So when I get this all cleaned off and get it, settings look right, when I get this all, you know, gusted up and all welded up, then I'm going to be able to take it outside and throw some sandblast sand at it. And uh, so I'm going to do, I throw this right in the middle just to make it look right. I just put it in there and then I tack, beat it around with my hammer. Ba, 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 ba. I know I had it here last night, I didn't clean up. Just make sure it's in there, right? Then tack the top. And I'm gonna weld it in, just like that. What I'll do is I'll throw one on one side, put a little bit of weld on it, and then I'll go to the other side just so I don't heat, I'm not heating everything up so bad everywhere as you know, it's just not heating up everything so bad. Tack it in place. Don't look bad. Oh, serve that sweetheart. If I like that one. I don't know if I like that one. I'm gonna tack this over here. Yeah, not so bad now. Basically. Leave that for a minute. Go this side.
right, we have got two gussets, gussets welded on the front cross member. Cool. Hit the spot of weld there. Spot of weld on the end. Alrighty, now I've got this one gusseted, I got this one gusseted, I got this gusseted down there. I'm fine with that. Now I'm going to gusset this one to the, I'm going to make a gusset for this. This is where the rack and pinion sits on the front of this. I've got it gusseted in here and gusseted in here. But now I want to gusset this one and I might as well make them go together. So what I'm going to do is, this is what I'm going to do. I'm just going to take my marker, it's in my pocket, and I'm going to make one. That's what I'm going to do. I got a pair of scissors here at all. paper, I get a pair of scissors, I get a pair of scissors, got my clickers on, as you can tell, got my clickers on, <laughs> Jolene looks amazing today, she woke up at seven looking like a ten and a half, and the reason I say that, she was straightening her hair, alrighty, I want to make something for in here, I got it in here, I haven't got anything, I'm just going to pick up and and uh, put in there. And everything that I weld in, I'll just take a little grinder over it, knock off all the wire, that sort of stuff, and make it look right. So I'm just gonna gusset. I guess, like I always do. I wanna put a gusset in from there to there. Which end do I want to use? I want to use the straightest edge. Over the top of that, down to there. And then I'm going to cut it there. So I'm going to add a little bit to that. So I'm going to do. To that because I knew I didn't have enough so I'll put that in there like nope I'm gonna have to cut that off because I'm gonna put it put it inside of that I want to put I got it on the outside of that I want to bring it on the inside so I'm gonna cut my line like it was like I had it marked and I know I'm gonna have to cut the corners on that because of the weld to get it down in there that means I'll have to add a little bit on the top because I have to cut the corners so that's fine take that out Let's make one. I'm gonna unplug that. So basically what I'm doing is I'm just trying to make everything a little bit stronger than I had it in, in the first place. And uh, just looking and going with whatever I think. Going with whatever I think. No waste here. No waste here. That's the day I made that sprocket. <laughs> made a sprocket, I did. Boom, boom, boom. A pair of vice grips right in the nose right there so I don't cut my hands off. Do, 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 do. Got a song in my head. It's good sometimes to have a song in your head. In a baby. Yep.
basically what's going on there. I just cut the little corners off so it would fit down and leave the weld in there. I'm just going to put that in there. Go a little bit smaller, I guess. Just a little bit smaller. I don't want to put it in like that. <laughs> Another little slice. Beautiful. You are, Jolene. You're beautiful. And if there's any gap in it at all, I could bring that. I'm going to weld that down there, obviously, and we can grind it off after. But if there's any gap in it at all, that's good because that's where the weld goes. And hopefully, I'll be able to get out and sandblast this chassis in the next today, tomorrow, the next day, or something if I get it all welded up and get it looking right. Bring that out some. That's what I like to do. Got some gap going on there. That's good. That's good. Holy oh, tready. Straight through. Know where I want it. Holding it in place and then zap her in. We'll make another one of those while we're waiting for that to cool down a little bit for the other side. Da -da 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 -da. Beautiful. Beautiful, I say. Beautiful. Let's do another one. Gonna change it around because I got a straight edge right there. Come on. Gorgeous. You are Jolene. You're gorgeous. And that's just going to make 
the control arm, it, it's got well going this way, it's got lots of strength going this way, but if it ever had a front on force, it would have to bend this, it would have to rip this off where I've got it welded down here, it'd have to rip that off, and plus bend that, plus bend the gusset I have on that. So you can see how much more strength it would have. I'm going in the inside how much more strength it would have with the gusset there. And that's basically what I'm doing, is run around and gusset everything and uh, make it look. It also gives it a, a nice look too, I find. Don't mind the gap there because I can fill that full of weld to make it look right. We will grind everything to make it look right. Come on now. So you'd have to bend this, you have to rip this gusset off, rip that weld off, rip that weld off, rip there, bend that gusset over, bend this over to end up doing anything to that. So it really does help a lot. It's, ne it's kind of necessary for my brain to have it. I need some contact cleaner for my gun, my nozzle, my welder gun. going to go back and forth on that a little bit to try to control the heat. What I mean by control the heat is not have it all in one spot to make anything move. Is on the top a little better, look, look, look a little nicer. And I will weld that from both sides, from both sides. So what I'm going to do right at this present moment is I'm going to jump back here and I'm going to move that back. I'll throw a weld on here. I see the transmission mount is not completely welded, so I'm going to throw a weld on there and then I'll come back up front and do some welding back up here. Just try to keep it all moved around. These aren't welded on yet, so I may as well weld them. Come on. Come on, baby. that be for a second. Uh, what I'm going to do now is these control these the, the the what can I say the hats on top here um, they're made out of eighth plate with round rod going on there they're welded up quite heavily but I'm going to make them a little bit stronger I'm going to gusset those too actually I'm going to turn that back on and finish the gussets up front and then we'll go for those. I'm going to weld this side down here
having contact problems. Here and wobbling on. Hmm. Need some welding there. It does weld better when the heat is in the metal, that's for sure. So I want, I want to try to get less movement as possible. And if you know when you're welding stuff, that stuff moves, uh, you would probably do the same thing I'm doing. Try to move around a bit. Try to move around a bit. Now, finish this one on this side. Let's make a gusset. We're going to make a gusset for this hat. Not the hat I have on my head, but the hat right there. It probably needs a gusset once in a while. <laughs> and what that is is help, isn't it? <laughs> right, baby? It's called help. Seen this pipe here. I was going to go outside and get some metal, but I said, what the hey, we'll make it out of this. Um, I have, let's cut a, what I want to do is I want to put a piece of this pipe, I don't know, 3 16 piece of pipe welded on here 
and then bring it down and go into there. And that would stop that from when that wants to pull off, like when the pressure is coming up on it, this gusset here from there to there will help that from ripping off. And that's what I'm going to do. Um, it's not nothing that I've uh, got out of a textbook or anything. It's a piece of metal that I've seen over there on the side of the wall, and I'm going to make it work. That's basically the end of it. Um, let's get a piece of cardboard. We'll get some angles going. It's easier to cut this cardboard than it is a piece of metal. So we're going to just cut a strip off. Stick that in there. see I got both angles sort of going on there not going to fear with the airbag the airbags here it's going to pump out a little bit but this is a round piece of pipe there's nothing that's going to be there it's going to take a little bit more off this angle here tricky part it's going to be taken putting that angle on that piece of pipe that's still going to be the tricky part tricky part and it could be a little bit longer you see I'm a little bit shy there so hmm. doing a lot of hmm I'm going to transfer that to that now what I'm going to do is I'm going to make it as wide as that pipe to start with. And then I can get a truer reed. Thinking. I'm thinking. So. That's not bad. Now, I've got a piece up here that's not even close. And I, I would like to weld that on that because that would give a lot of strength there. So. What I'm going to do is, I'm going to take a look at it. I'll put that in there. I'll take a look at it, see what's missing. And I can see what's missing and keep it in my brain. Keep it in my brain. This is what I'm thinking. Marker. I know it looks like a bunch of mumble jumble. <laughs> it does, but uh, that's that's what's going on to make it as strong as possible. This is relying on that. This is relying on that. Talking it over in my own brain, and I'm doing it with you because you're my trusty YouTube followers, and uh, I would not want to lead you to astray. And what it means is that you look at that again. It's all right to do it again and make mistakes. It's all right. It's all right. Now I'm about a quarter to a half inch at the back. A quarter to a half inch at the back. So I got this line drawn on here and about a quarter to a half inch at the back. So that's when I'm going to cut that right there. Let's see what happens. Well, we need a bigger grinder disc, that's for sure, for starters. thin ones. Get on there. 
Come on now. Christmas is coming. No one's told you yet. Christmas is coming. And uh, if you have not got a bunch of money, um, a, a gift from the brain is generally uh, accepted with, yeah, accepted a lot nicer than if you spend a bunch of money. If you, so you can think of something to make somebody something or to whatever. Uh, it's, it's more appreciated than it is just to go out and buy something. So remember that if you, you know, if it's that time of year, make something, be thoughtful, use your brain. Use your brain. All righty. Bottom. That was it to a half. Now what I'm thinking has to happen. Holborn. I'm going to go for it. Just go for it. Just go for it. And, ooh, try to get that in there. Got to go a little short, but that fit. Looks like it's gonna fit nice though. Let's cut a little bit off it. Same, same angle, just a little bit more off it. want to get too much cut off because I want that to fit up there tight and right you know give us lots of support is what it's going to give us I don't want to keep cutting it off this end I think Get in there. Ooh, I love it. All right. So what's going to happen now? Got a gap in there. I love it. Love it. So I've got a piece of round bar in there. When the pressure comes on to pull that off, it's really going to have a hard time because it's going to have to bend this and that. When I've got all this, all this, I don't know what, these three sixteenths or better, uh, weld it there and weld it on the side of the chassis and bring it down there, it's gonna be a hard time bending that. So, as that's... <sighs> Generally, when you blow at something, it comes back in your face. If you don't know, I just told you. Ah, I got smart. Cleaned the bag all off. This, see how the bag that holds the bag? I cleaned all that black off. Excuse me for a second. <laughs> Just put it over in the corner there, get it later. There. I like that. And I like that. I love it. So now I'm going to get the welder in there and do the best job again. What I'm going to do is just back up a little bit. Back up, line it up, make it look straight. Man, I'm liking that. Let's turn the welder. Uh, 
let's get smart. Let's make another one. Baby's shaking her head. Yes, Chad. Yes, do it. Do it, darling. Do it. <laughs> well, <laughs> let's do it. There you go. Let's make another one. Now, the angle should be the same on that one. <laughs> okay. Do this one. side. And this is all stuff I'm just coming up with, you know. <laughs> this is not, <laughs> this is not, like I said, this is not textbook or anything. This is just stuff I'm coming up with in my own brain to try to make everything that I have on Jolene's car um, as strong as possible. And as I'm building this car, Merry Christmas, Jolene. Merry Christmas. I love you so much. That's the reason, actually, if people don't know, that's the reason I'm building this car, because I love Jolene, and she inspired me to build her something, and uh, that's what I'm doing. I'm, I'm going to build her something, because I, I love her, and I want to show her how much I care. And uh, when I'm done, ooh, it's going to be good for me. <laughs> Probably the greatest sign of love, isn't it? Building some, somebody something, you know? Taking the time that you have and uh, putting it somewhere. I'm gonna weld it right to the bag pad itself and the hat. And the better the welder you come is the when you can t weld anything anywhere. It's like when I'm down in there welding that, when you can weld it anywhere, that's when you become good.
Also, you have to be careful when you're welding something like this in, in, in a car. When the body's not on or anything's not on, you have to kind of make sure that it's not going to affect anything. The bag is going to squish it a little bit, but on that rubber, it shouldn't be too bad. On, or on the round, it shouldn't be too bad. If something was square and sharp, it probably wouldn't be a good idea. Where it's round, it shouldn't be too bad. And that'll have to be, remind myself that, let's put a little more on the back if I can. Whoop, whoop. Something moving, <laughs> you heard that, something's moving. that alone. Now, in order to take that bat, take that hat and push that up and bend it or anything, you'd have to rip that off that chassis and pull that pipe off. And besides rip the, the round rod and, and bend the metal, there would be a lot of pressure there to, to do what I'm saying, is to rip that off or bend it. And uh, I don't think that's going to happen. I don't think that's going to happen. When I turn the chassis up the other way, then I can then I can finish the welding. What was going on is that, ouch. <laughs> yeah, that was out. Um, <laughs> what's going on is when, when I was thinking about when I put the cross member in here and I didn't really have a cross member out here to keep the front end from moving it, you know, it was kind of playing on my brain a little bit because I, I don't want the front end to move in the car, not even a little bit. But what am I going to say now? That's, so that's what I come up with. I'll, I'll put a gusset underneath. So would, it could, it will not move, you know, we've got it, um, Gus, we got a piece of metal weld on this side, we got a piece of metal weld on this side. You really have to, uh, you really have to hit something or you throw it off the Bay of Fundy, you probably wouldn't bend it, but I really wanted this to stay in place and uh, that's, that's what, I, what I come up with is this gusset here. It's a piece of round stock, but it still is a gusset because it's, it's on a 45 or a triangle shape. So I'm going to the other side, and I'm going to put the other one in, see what happens on this side. So basically, we're just, we're just putting strength in everything. Putting strength in everything. I cut that one too long, did it? Woo, that fits good. Wow. Against the chest, is it? Yep. Good, 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 good. Holy shreddies.
Very happy with that. Very happy with that. Want to get it in the center of the two holes for the bolts. I'm going to weld this on the top. Bang that for a second. Get it over a little bit. Yeah. It's already used the gusset. Ah, don't pull it off there. I want it over. I want it over. Just cut a little bit of it, just re-weld it. There we go, get a little bit of movement on it. That's what I want right there. If it does not work out for you, move it. Now I'm at where I want to be. <laughs> I think I am. I'm getting, I'm getting fussy I am. Where I want to tag it in. All right, now I can reweld this. Getting too close. All right, let's weld this up down here. change the weld area. Nice. I like that light. I like that light. More or less just going to keep that wire in the middle of that puddle. Let it burn. Excuse me.
and we'll get the rest of it when we flop it over. So what I'm saying is that that gonna put a little bit of weld around the bucket because the bucket's going to be welded there. That's where the airbags go. I'm saying that that front end's not going to move. And with any amount of pressure, I don't think it's going to move. Put another one here. Ah. Damn it. Making a mess in there. Making a mess in there, I am. Hard to get at, that's all. And I want to make sure it sticks. Have to take a die grinder and clean them up. Yep, take a die grinder and clean them up. But that bag's got to be steady. Oh! I think, sweetheart, it's going to move? Nope. Nope. It's not going to move, baby. I got to plan it down for you. No movie for you. Just making sure the bag stays in place, or the bag hat stays in place. So that's the gusset on that. Let's move to the back and do a couple of those. This thing. Welding something like this, I just go back and forth each piece of metal, keeping the wire in the puddle. Basically, that's what I do. Just keep it there and keep going back and forth. I'm just going to turn that welder off for a second. There. I heard quite a, quite a ping on this side. I don't know what that ping was, but it sounded like quite a snap, didn't it? What, sweetheart, when it, on this side? It sounded like quite a snap. I'll have to take a look it over. I don't think it pulled anything off or moved anything. Couldn't see it, but we'll take a look. That's for sure. We'll take a look. Keep going? Oh, we're at an hour. Well, let's give away a hat or a shirt. There's a there's been enough welding. I just got to keep going back here. I've got to make make a couple like another piece that goes flat on this and then up to hold this piece from going sideways back and forth. I'll weld a I'll put a 90 on here. Go weld across here then up so that'll hold that from going back and forth because I can go back and forth and be weak. I can pound that back and forth with a hammer, ripping it off this way and that way is fine. But going back and forth, it has no support. So that's what we want to do. We're going to put some weld in here on this side of the gusset, inside on that side of the gusset. We'll make sure that we check everything over. Uh, 
I should show the rack and pinion maybe as we got that in there. I got the rack and pinion right there. Just want to show what's going on there. I had some issues. Well, it had some issues because I couldn't see it when, I, when the car was together. Um, I built the car and then I put a chassis underneath of it. <laughs> so this is what's going on. You can see I have, I have a flat piece here and then there's an angled piece there. And the reason being is on this, it's not flat. It's got an angle here and an angle here. So what I have done, I've made it so it fits the angle. Um, you can see how when I put it up here, you can see in there how that rack and pinion fits that angle. So when I connect, when I put something around it and connect it, um, it's going to fit tight. So it's straight here and angled back there. I did the exact same thing on that side. You can see the angle. And I'm going to, when I bolt that on there, it's going to be on tight. And then you can see how my universal joint is going to go through my exhaust pipe and get to my steering. This here I know is going to work because I've tried it on the car before. I let it up and down. So that's going to give me enough room for up and down. And this car is not going to be going up and down all the time anyways. It's going to be for show. So I basically am going in the right spot. It's just a lot of welding and a lot of figuring it out as I go. That's basically what I'm doing, just figuring it out as I go. I heard a loud snap on this side. I'm just wondering if I heated it up so much and something give her a snap, but we'll check it out. Uh, we'll know when we sandblast it, you'll be able to see if there's a crack or anything. I don't think that happened. It might have been just the metal cracking, but we got a gusset on this. We've got these all welded up. I'm going to clean them up. That was bugging me, a little gobby weld there, bugging me, but uh, we really have it zonked in there. That hat's not going nowhere. As you'd have to, the hat's not going nowhere. So, And there's going to be a bit of work with the die grinder and the grinder, and that's stuff that has to be done. But I'm happy with everything. You, can, you must admit, in order to rip that off of the hammer, you'd have to rip that off. <laughs> and to rip that off the hammer, you'd have to rip that off and rip that off. That's gusset. That's gusset. That's got a gusset. Everything's got help, and that's basically what I'm doing. The bag now, now has got help with this, this support in there. That's quite something else. I'm happy I come up with that idea. I'm happy I come up with that idea. So I'm just going to continue on welding everything, continue on there. i got to weld the, the rear end up. Then we can get this thing out to sandblast and then uh, start grinding it, filling it, and painting it. Want to give away a hat or shirt, sweetheart? Let's give away a hat or shirt. It's a beautiful Christmas day out there. Remember, if you haven't got a whole bunch of money, which not everybody does, obviously, uh, go to your brain and uh, think about something that you can do for somebody or help somebody out that way. Do not let Christmas stress you out. It's not worth it. Um, it's not worth it. Christmas is supposed to be a good time. So just, you know, you can do a gesture for somebody, um, just a card with a nice poem. I'm not much into writing poems, but it was just an idea that came out of my brain. <laughs> you know what I mean? Sometimes it means more than, than you know, something that is monetary value like money, uh, you know. Shane Robinson, you have won a hat or a shirt of your choice. Thanks for another great show. You really should try some step up drill bits. Big time saver. I have, <laughs> I have used the the step up drill bits and I, I, I enjoyed them, I really did. But what, what happens is I, I kind of probably bought the cheaper ones and uh, I would, they dulled on me quick and they, whatever, just the drill situation. Basically what I'm, what I'm doing is, as you see me on the floor and I use the platinum cutter, I'm, I'm using the less tools as possible. Like I'm not running, like everybody said, go to the bench. Well, time I get up and go to the bench and get set up, well, I wouldn't even really get to make a video to show anything if I did, you know, what normally, what you usually do, get up and go to the bench and drill a hole and come back, try it on, bolt it up. Well, as you can see, I'm on the floor on my hands and knees running and grabbing this grinder and that grinder and a hammer. Basically, you see the tools that I'm using, a grinder, two grinders, a hammer, and, and a plasma cutter, and I am cutting 
any size of hole that I want. I don't have to go look for the drill bits. I don't have to put them back. I don't have to do anything. I just kind of cut them and uh, go with it. Uh, the grinders, I got one flapper wheel. I got one zip cut. I'm on my hands and knees and I'm doing it as fast as I can. And I dare anybody to try to do it any faster. Have a good one, everybody. Come back tomorrow. <laughs>